Hey guys, it's Melissa from Silhouette School. I am going to talk to you a little bit about using Oracal transfer tape um, with various types of Oracal vinyl. So we have uh, four types of vinyl. We have 641, which is a matte permanent. We have 651, which is a glossy permanent. 631, which is a matte removable. And then 751, which is a thinner um, cast type vinyl. So. Um, each of these types of vinyl can be used with the Oracle transfer tape. I'm just going to show you um, some techniques and tips um, to make sure that you have an easy time pulling the trans pulling the vinyl from the backing um, onto the transfer and then releasing it onto a surface. So I have cut the same design four different times on each different type of vinyl. Um, we're going to use the transfer and we're going to put it onto the same surface so everything is equal. Um, and you'll see how easy that is. Okay, so before you start transferring your vinyl, you wanna make sure that you have a couple of tools with you. Um, the, the scraper tool is very, very important. It will help you to burnish um, your designs onto the surface. You also wanna make sure you have a pair of scissors handy and then obviously your transfer tape. We're gonna work down this list. This is 631, 41, 51, and 751. Um, all cut on my Silhouette Cameo. I like to work on my mat, as you can see. It keeps the vinyl kind of, um, so it's not rolling up, okay? All right, so the transfer tape here has a grid lines on the back, which is nice for cutting. The tape itself, though, is very clear. Um, so I'm actually gonna cut off four pieces right now just so we can you can reuse this but i want you to see um the tape at the full strength all right so we've got our four sheets here and um i'm going to put them all on here so you can kind of see what happens all right so use your hook if you have a hook uh, to just hook the corner and pull the transfer tape off of the backing of the transfer this is like a waxy material now what you want to do I like to start on the side or depending on how you're positioned here and just scrape down with my scraper and then pull your vinyl up right onto your um, piece of transfer tape okay all right, and then all you have to do is do the opposite on the side where you are going to place the vinyl. So just place it down, scrape again, this is called burnishing, and then pull from the corner to release it, okay? Now it's really important that you don't cut your vinyl with too much force. If you're cutting with too much force, it pushes the vinyl itself further down into the backing and makes it more difficult to release. So for 631, I would recommend a blade of two, speed five, force 15, and a double cut, okay? That's for 631. All right, so as I said, you can reuse this, but I do want you to see what it's like full strength. So I'm gonna get a new piece here and use it for um, our vinyl 640, or Oracle 641, all right? All right, we're gonna use the same, go from the edge here, just burnish it, down and across, pull up, all right, and it releases, and we'll put, oops, I think we might end up running out of room on our little piece here. Maybe I'll turn it this way so I can kind of nest them. Okay, and then same thing, scrape down a couple times across, pull from the corner, and release, all right? Let's put that one down, and I'll get another new piece. Okay, so that was 641. I would recommend on a Silhouette Cameo a blade of two, speed of five, force 18, and one single pass. All right, new piece of Oracal Transfer. This um, brown color is the 651, okay? Scraper, super important. Scrape once back and forth, burnish back and forth, pull it up, all right, and then Place it right onto your surface. Uh, we're kind of gonna. All right, it's also important to kind of lay it down this way. If you put the whole thing down at once, not necessarily for this design, but um, for other types of designs, you can get bubbles, okay? So if you place it from one side over, you won't get bubbles. But if you place it just flat like this, you risk trapping the air in there, okay? And this was 651. Recommended cut settings, a blade of two, speed five, 
force 10 and one pass, okay? That makes it so that that vinyl doesn't get pushed too far deep into the backing. All right, where's our last piece of Orcal transfer? I'm gonna trim this down a little bit. Okay, obviously you wanna make sure it covers. Um, some people really like the grid lines. Um, I, you know, it helps me cut it evenly, sorta, but not really. Um, I like totally clear transfer, which this Orcal is totally clear. And this is the 751 cast vinyl. All right, comes up very, very easily off of the backing. And we will put this one right here. Again, we're just going to start on the edge, scrape down and back. Make sure you're putting some force into that. And then peel from the corner, okay? So you saw how easily all of those transferred right onto our board here. Um, now, obviously, some surfaces are going to be more of a challenge if you are putting onto glass, you know, you make or a rounded piece, make sure you're really burnishing um, on there before you're pulling your transfer off, okay? Um, so before we go, 751 uh, recommended cut settings, a blade of two, speed two, force 20, and one pass. The reason that you need a higher force is this is a thinner vinyl um, and it needs to be, it needs to have a higher blade. It seems, um, you know, opposite of what it should be, but believe me that you want to have a higher force on 751 to get a really nice clean cut. So there you go. So Orcal transfer tape is totally awesome. It works really, really well with all of the craft, um, vinyls from Orcal and, um, you can get it at swing. You can, um, check it out on Amazon as well, but I would highly recommend that you check out um, the Oracle transfer with the Oracle uh, different types of vinyl.